Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Vesso selects Mercury's 13's Wally Funk for July 20th space flight. Also, Aircar completes first ever intercity flight. And Parrot unveils Anafi AI. Happy Friday, you survived the work week. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We have a packed episode ahead of the long weekend, so let's go ahead and start with. The gang here at ANN could not be more thrilled. The amazing Wally Funk will finally be heading to space in less than three weeks after waiting some 60 years for the chance. Fulfilling a lifelong mission to become an astronaut, Wally Funk will fly to space on New Shepard's first human flight on July 20th as an honored guest. She will join Jeff Bezos, his brother Mark Bezos, and the auction winner on the flight. Wally's journey to space began in the 1960s when she was the youngest graduate of the Woman in Space program, a privately funded project which tested female pilots for astronaut fitness. Later known as Mercury 13, 13 American women successfully underwent the same physiological and psychological screen tests as the astronauts selected by NASA for Project Mercury, but they never flew to space. Wally was the youngest graduate of this program. She was the first female FAA inspector and the first female NTSB air safety investigator. The 82-year-old pilot will now be part of the first crew on New Shepard and the oldest person ever to fly to space. Go Wally! After the break, the NTSB chairman position changes hands. Details after these messages. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Errol Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The NTSB chairman position changes hands. National Transportation Safety Board Chairman Robert L. Sumwalt ended his nearly 15 years at the NTSB as he retired from government service on Wednesday. Vice Chairman Bruce Landsberg will serve as the acting chairman until a new chair is confirmed by the Senate. President Biden nominated NTSB member Jennifer Homendy on May 20th to become the 15th chair of the NTSB. Sumwalt's tenure as the 14th chairman of the NTSB began in August 2017 after being nominated to lead the agency by President Donald Trump. Everyone is excited that Oshkosh is just weeks away, and so is Piper Aircraft. Piper Aircraft is excited to return to AirVenture. Their static display will include the new M600 SLS with Halo safety systems featuring Autoland, the pressurized single-engine piston-powered M350, as well as foundational products from the trainer lineup, the Piper Seminole, Archer TX and new Pilot 100i Flight Trainer. The new Piper Flight School Alliance area within Gate Park will feature Piper trainers and representatives from a diverse group of U.S.-based flight schools. 
United adds 270 Boeing and Airbus aircraft to fleet. United Airlines has confirmed the purchase of 270 new Boeing and Airbus aircraft, the largest combined order in the airline's history and the biggest by an individual carrier in the last decade. When combined with the current order book, United expects to introduce more than 500 new narrowbody aircraft, 40 in 2022, 138 in 2023, and as many as 350 in 2024 and beyond. That means, in 2023 alone, United's fleet will, on average, add about one new narrowbody aircraft every three weeks. First, Citation Excel Eagle delivered. Citation Partners and Yangling Aviation have confirmed that the first Citation Excel Eagle was delivered on June 25th to North Central Aviation of Blaine, Minnesota. In January of this year, using an all new process designed and developed by Citation Partners, a fleet of Citation Excels began its transformation to Citation Excel Eagles. With extensive inspections by the original manufacturer, numerous new parts and systems, plus G5000 avionics, a totally new interior and a complete strip and paint, the marketplace reportedly responded well. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. Air car completes first ever intercity flight. Aircar has reportedly fulfilled a key development milestone in a 35-minute flight from the International Airport in Nitra to the International Airport in Bratislava on June 28. Klein Vision's patented aircar completed its 142nd successful landing in Bratislava at around 6 a.m. After landing with a click of a button, the aircraft transformed into a sports car in under three minutes and was driven by its inventor, Professor Stefan Klein and co-founder Anton Jezak to downtown Bratislava, cutting the typical travel time by a factor of two. The Aircar Prototype 1 is equipped with a 160 horsepower BMW engine with fixed propeller and a ballistic parachute. Under the supervision of the Civil Aviation Authority, the Aircar has completed over 40 hours of test flights, including steep 45 degree turns and stability and maneuverability testing. Aircar Prototype 1 has flown at 8,200 feet and reached a maximum cruising speed of 103 knots. Aircar Prototype 2, the pre-production model, will be equipped with a 300 horsepower engine and seek the EASA CS23 aircraft certification with an M1 road permit. With its variable pitch propeller, the Prototype 2 is expected to have a cruise speed of 162 knots and a range of 621 miles. After these messages, Parrot unveils the first drone to use 4G. Those details after the break. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Hello, pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Parrot has unveiled the Anafi AI, which is reportedly the first drone to use 4G as the main data link between the drone and the operator. 
Users may no longer experience transmission limitation thanks to this level of connectivity. For beyond visual line of sight flight, it is reportedly to stay connected even behind obstacles. Anafi AI embeds a secure element in the drone and in its Sky Controller 4. The 4G link between the drone and the user's phone is encrypted. The secure element protects both the integrity of the software and the privacy of the data transferred. Pirate's partner ecosystem delivers specialized applications and services for a variety of professional uses. Pirate states that it is the first in the industry to make its piloting application open source. Pirate offers developers a software development kit to execute custom code in the Anafi AI drone during flight. The SDK gives access to all flight sensors, including obstacle avoidance sensors, occupancy, grid, and internet access. Anafi AI's obstacle avoidance system detects obstacles in all directions, using stereo cameras to sense objects and automatically avoid them. Anafi AI incorporates a 48 MP main camera and boasts a stabilized 4K 60 frames per second HDR10 camera to capture detailed aerial images and video footage. Well, that does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly K. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media and feel free to comment with store ideas or just to say hi. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next week.